the NSA specifically, targets the communications of everyone. It ingests them by default. It collects them in its system and it filters them and it analyzes them and it measures them and it stores them. I mean, the U.S. is spending billions on these spy clouds where they basically capture all internet traffic all the time. You see, your emails are all in there. And whenever they look up your name because they don't like you or they want to find something about you, it's all there. Your whole life is out in the open. It's not a bad idea to share information with the people you want to share with. It's not a bad idea to use the open web. It's a really bad idea to share all your information in a system in which one guy gets a copy of everything. What we would call in cryptography a man in the middle attack. I want to share some things with my actual friends. I want to share some things with everybody in the world equally. But why would I want to share with my friends and Mr. Zuckerberg or with the entire world and Mr. Zuckerberg. Facebook in particular um, is the most appalling spying machine that has ever been invented. Here we have the world's most comprehensive database about people, their relationships, their names, their addresses, their locations, um, their communications with each other, their relatives all sitting within the United States, all accessible to US intelligence. Facebook, Google, Yahoo, all these major US organizations have built-in interfaces for US intelligence. Now, is it the case that Facebook um, is actually run by US intelligence? No, it's not like that. It's simply that US intelligence is able to bring to bear legal and political pressure to them, and it's costly for them to hand out records and, uh, one by one, so they have automated the process. Everyone should understand that, that they, when they add their friends to Facebook, they are doing free work for United States intelligence agencies in building this database for them. Additional functions based on ZeroCoin and coin mixing services built on top of Next can provide a completely anonymous infrastructure. With the ZeroCoin algorithm integrated within Next, it will be mathematically infeasible to link particular coins used by each user. It's a really bad idea to share with people in a way which gives one person all the logs. I don't think there was ever anything wrong with living in the Soviet Union and distributing Samistat. But there was something really wrong with being in the Soviet Union and distributing Samistat through KGB. That's the difference. Next's arbitrary messages feature leads us to the true decentralized web. A message can be any small piece of data, so it has broad potential. For example, torrent files have already been sent on the network. The internet belongs to nobody, no man, no corporation, no government. And that's what these people need to understand. You know, the internet is there for everybody, for society to evolve faster, to share knowledge, and to accelerate our development as, uh, you know, a race. Where we're seeing the power of decentralization uh, and the incredible innovations that can be brought to bear with decentralized systems. There is no such thing as Bitcoin mining in Next, which means the control of the network cannot be centralized in a data center in Iceland. And, and when the problem no longer exists, then centralization and hierarchy is, is the wrong solution. Analysis has shown that Bitcoin uses 2,900 times more energy to power the network than Next, and that Bitcoin costs 820 times more than Next to power the same network. As a result, the Next network is very energy efficient compared to Bitcoin. Next doesn't require massive amounts of computing power, so it's very low in power consumption.
You can even run Next on iPhones, Android devices, and $35 computers like the Raspberry Pi. And this whole generation of people growing up on the internet who see that they can organize, that they can debate, and they can do decision making on a massive scale without any hierarchy or centralized control. And we have proven that we can solve problems of consensus and decision making without hierarchical organizations, without centralized authorities, without trusting people, without trusting systems, <coughs> but with purely trusting algorithms and math. You know, this is really going to change things in ways you don't even expect, and I can't even explain to you yet, because it's going to unfold in ways no one anticipates, because what it does is it democratizes information. So yes, I'm excited about something that democratizes money. A lot of the problem right now is that you pay for both of your infrastructure and your content in a single payment to your ISP. Well, with Bitcoin, you could pay the recipient or the content provider directly in tiny, tiny, tiny payments. Next also supports integrated peer-to-peer -peer exchanges. Uh, when Bitstamp and Mt. Gox have their bank accounts shut down, it's going to put a lot more pressure on us to use local Bitcoins and other systems of exchange that are decentralized. Centralized exchanges are going to be the main focus of the battle against cryptocurrencies. And if they are attacked, we're going to build decentralized exchanges. And once we build decentralized exchanges, there's nothing to attack. Oh my god, this isn't a currency. It's a consensus network. This is the holy grail of distributed systems of the last 15 years. You can do so much more than currency. And once that light bulb went off, all I could see was the possibilities. Oh, well, now that we have this technology, we can do this and this and this, and the currency will do these things for us. Specifications are currently being built for Next Automated Transactions, or Next AT, a Turing complete instruction layer, similar to the Bitcoin Ethereum project, but integrated as a new transaction type on top of Next's lightweight, energy efficient proof of stake blockchain. Next AT will implement a bytecode interpreter to allow a wide variety of applications to be built on top of Next. Current use cases include an automated lottery system, a dormant funds transfer application, and a project crowdfunding agent. And in fact, that you can generate more value for more people with decentralized systems. So the internet, um, Bitcoin, mesh networks, crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, um, you know, even simple things like uh, blogging, you know, getting out of the control of, of a centralized editor or newspaper. All of these things are really showing the power that individuals can bring when they collaborate on an open network. Very soon, the first game built on top of the next network will be published, a decentralized poker game. Next will provide a platform for the easy creation of new currencies. They will be maintained on the next blockchain, but they will have their own environment. I think it's, it's really important to see how uh, Open Garden mesh networks and cryptocurrencies uh, can work together to support each other. I see a lot of potential in recognizing the similarities between various decentralized systems and then trying to um, accelerate each other uh, by, by bringing the communities together, something I know you've been very much involved in, and, uh, and really you know, using uh, decentralized money to fuel decentralized networks that, that in turn make decentralized money more robust and, and build that into a virtual cycle where um, essentially you accelerate the disruption. In the future, with multiple parallel blockchains running side by side, Next will be able to provide cloud storage and file sharing applications. These applications will be able to use different blockchains for different purposes, one for file storage, one for messages, and so on. 
the next logical step in the movement, which many people are very excited about, is this idea of implementing a Turing complete scripting language. In essence, what you're doing is taking the power of a full programming language like C++ and Python and marrying it to this idea of a trustless blockchain. And together, you can do some incredible things that just simply are not possible today. It's very simple to create new applications for Next. It's almost like Lego. Developers can build anything they imagine on top of Next. We can take the cost down to zero, and we can deliver $74 billion to the poorest people in the world to use for water and sanitation, food and education. And that's going to uplift uh, possibly a billion people out of poverty. After peer-to-peer -peer payments, we can do peer-to-peer -peer lending, which will allow a farmer in Kenya or a shopkeeper in Nairobi to uh, crowdsource a loan from 10,000 lenders all across the world directly in Bitcoin without any banks being involved. Once we're done with peer-to-peer -peer lending, we're going to do peer-to-peer -peer crowdsourcing where we can have a company start up in the middle of nowhere and fund its operations directly from hundreds of thousands of shareholders around the world, bypassing all of the world's stock markets and going IPO by themselves without asking anybody's permission. Next's code already supports colored coins, which is a method for designating specific coins and tying them to physical property. You send your asset to the Next Exchange Gateway, and the Gateway issues the asset on the Next Network by creating colored coins to represent it. Your asset is then transferable on Next and can be traded with anyone. You can already use it as a Kickstarter for crowdfunding projects. We can take a billion and a half people and bring them online to an international class, cross-border, full credit economy, which will empower them economically to a level we have never before seen in the history of humanity. Next is one step ahead of all other decentralized platforms thanks to its start as a cryptocurrency. It is now ready to become a completely new decentralized network. Next provides a powerful and flexible platform for developers allowing them to easily develop new applications for Next. Thanks to a great community behind it, as evidenced by the thousands of pages on the Next Bitcoin Talk pub thread, Next has achieved an unbelievable amount of success in very little time. Anyone can join this fantastic group of open-minded individuals and make a positive contribution. For more information, see nxt.org. WikiLeaks' question is, is anonymous publishing an important part of freedom? The answer is it always has been and it always will be. It's always important to have the Netherlands or Neuchâtel or some place in Europe where you can publish the truth freely. It was not usually Vienna. It was not usually Paris. That's important. Mr. Zuckerberg, do I have your full attention? No. Next is a second-generation cryptocurrency, a safe, transparent, decentralized system for sharing data and payments with people all over the world. And it's so lightweight that all of its functionality can be accessed through a web browser. It's a 100% proof-of-stake system, so you don't need high-performance computing capacity to help support the network. Even inexpensive devices like smartphones can be used. Next users are rewarded in exchange for supporting the network. All transactions in Next are bundled into units known as blocks. The more Next you have in your account, the more often you will generate a block and be rewarded with a fee. The system generates a block on average every 60 seconds. Every block contains information on the transactions in the block, the total fee for those transactions, a payload hash, a digital signature, as well as information about the previous block. As blocks are added, they form a chain. Data storage is secure and completely decentralized. In addition to basic transactions, Next supports an alias system, as well as a system for storing small amounts of data on the blockchain. Next also supports a decentralized voting system and the first functioning fully decentralized asset exchange system. 
Altogether, these next-generation features allow for the creation of any number of decentralized services on top of Next. With Next, cryptocurrency becomes a crypto platform, a tool for the creation of a whole ecosystem of decentralized applications for users.